Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Dragon Warrior 4. So the bridge has been repaired, so we can go to Indoor. Now the encounters around Indoor are going to be different, they're going to be a lot easier for one thing. You don't have to worry about skeletons or freaking rogue knights. But they are stronger than what we've been fighting. First one drained all of my defense, and the other just did zero. Oh, nice crit. Yay. And the bridge down there has also been repaired. So if we want to, we can go that way. Oh. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? I'm going to run. Uh, what happened is he cast Upper on himself, and I can't pierce his defense. I'm not strong enough. Um, I also don't have any healing items on me, so let's get out of here as quickly as possible. Read the sign real quick. <laughs> but it's the wrong sign. I can't read the message. How cute. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Or just belong to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so same thing as before. Unfortunately, there's no, no uh, metal slimes here. That's okay. So here we can actually buy ourselves the best armor for um, Talon, which is the Iron Apron. So we'll go ahead and uh, equip that. So this is going to increase our defense by 14. And we're gonna... Mm. Let's go see... How much space do I have left? None! Oh, Prince's Letter. That's right, we need to deliver that, don't we? But first, let's go talk, some, talk to some people. Did you know that a tournament was held at the castle recently? Nope. Never heard of it. Hey! You look familiar. I'm Ragnar, a soldier of Berlin. I came here hoping that the person I've been uh, looking for might be at the tur tournament, but it's over and the casino also seems to be closed for a while. So for right now the casino is closed. Not that it really, it really matters that much. So you came here to make money. There are many ways to make money here, I guess. Hello, please enjoy our meals. Are you a merchant, uh, too? Did you come here for the silver statue? No. Oops, forget what I said then. Me too, I'm certain it will fetch a great price. I've trained myself to cast some spells. How about hire me for 600 gold for 5 days? No thanks. Well, if you change your mind, please come see me. This is also a unique aspect for Chapter 3, is you can hire mercenaries. There are two mercenaries in Endor. One's a caster, the other is a, sol is a soldier type. And they last about 5 days. I hear magnificent treasures are in the cave, but many terrible monsters live there. Why don't you hire me as your guardsman for 400 gold pieces for 5 days? No thanks. Oh well, if you change your mind, come see me. So yeah, you can hire both of them, and that'll be a thousand gold, and they'll stay with you for five, day, uh, for five days and help you out. They're not too shabby. Ah, frame rate. Are you asking if the shop downstairs is closed? I'm an old, and plan to. I'm old and I plan to retire after selling it. Is there anyone? Uh, if is there anyone who has the king's permission to do business and wants to buy my shop? Well, we don't have permission yet, so we can't do that. Now, one other thing we can do is buy Talon a better weapon, such as the Abacus of Virtue. Go figure. An Abacus. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just sell the Chain Sickle, and then we'll buy the Abacus. 
I'll eat up most of our money. And then we can equip this. There we go, 35. There we go. So our, we're at 40, uh, 45, 47 attack defense right now. Not too shabby. Monsters disappeared shortly after the tournament, but they came back again. What's going on? Uh, we could go pick up the, uh, the seed that I didn't get. Um, are you a merchant who has done business with us before? No. Then you came to sell the king something. We don't deal with new merchants unless they've got something extraordinary. You should forget it. Um, but yeah, we could go and get that seed, but I don't intend on Talon using it, and Talon has very limited space, uh, unfortunately. In fact, I kind of regret getting that freaking safe, because it's not, it's not even required. Our family has been wealthy for a long time, and my husband is a collector of valuable things. Still, we can't use up all our money. Hehehe. <laughs> I love to collect antiques. I hear the si silver statue exists somewhere. I want it. I don't care what it costs. Look how swiftly the clouds rush across the sky. Something dreadful must may be happening somewhere. She'll actually say something different if you talk to her at night. She'll talk about a shooting star. Alright. So, nothing really of note here. Guarding is hard. It is. Alright, so let's go talk to the king. Actually, I, nah, we're not going to bother going. To, uh, I'm pretty sure that the way to the Coliseum is like right now blocked by guards because it's been shut down. The king is upstairs. Yes, he is. A man named Necrosaro was about to win the tournament, but he suddenly disappeared. I wonder why. I see you're an arms merchant. I hear there are many powerful weapons these days. The soldiers in this castle are still using copper swords. It's a shame. Well, I got an abacus. The king has so many responsibilities he doesn't have time to worry about our weapons. As you can probably guess, there's a business opportunity here. Uh, actually, let's go downstairs. Are you the grocer? What? You're an arms merchant? Don't you know this is a kitchen? Let's go talk to this guy. Got anything to say to me? Watch out for no oh, okay, you're still on about that. He's old news now. We're obviously never gonna run into him again. I hear that a man named Dagardi repaired many bridges. He repaired two. Alright. Let's go talk to the king. Actually, we're supposed to deliver this letter, aren't we? Let's talk to the king. I commend you for traveling so far to see me. Hmm, you want my permission to own a shop here in Indoor? Yes. I heard your request. I'll think about it. You can leave now. Our king meets with all types of people. Watch your manners in front of him. This is the blah blah blah. Okay. And there shouldn't be- Oh, there is a guy over here. What do you got to say? Once long ago, there was a sword called the Zen uh, Zenithian Sword. Whoever possessed, uh, possessed it was able to ascend into the sky. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure Talon can't do that. He came from Lakanaba. That must be, mean the bridge was repaired. Talon reads the prince's letter. Dear Mia, Princess of Endor, Many days have passed, yet I haven't been able to tell my father about us. Worse still, my father seems to be planning to invade Endor. You must stop him. Please inform your father of this and... Oh, Reed, I have to tell my father. Father! I heard the news, Mia. You do not need to worry. Talon is, is, the, uh, Talon is the name, isn't it? Would you take this scroll to King Von Malmo? And we just got the royal scroll. Alright. Please hurry. Alright, so now we gotta go all the way back with whatever we have in our possession right now. Well, that does mean I can sell that chainmail to them, so I guess that's better than nothing. Alright, zoom. Warp speed.
Alright, kill that guy first before he buffs himself. There you go. And we're doing a lot better now that uh, they can't even wound us. And of course it's night time. Yep, let's go ahead and rest. And then we're gonna go over here. Yep, yep. How about this chainmail? No. How about this chainmail? No. How about this chainmail? No. Alright, I guess 400 is probably the best. Like I can just keep asking. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Money. Nothing else to sell. Bye. There's a reason why I'm not selling the half plate armor. You'll you'll know soon enough. Let's go talk to this guy. Dear friend, King of Bon Malmo, please listen to what I must say. It appears that my daughter Mia and your son Reed are in love. They don't have to marry now, but I do look forward to their marriage. The King of Endor. Oh, is that so? If my son Reed marries the princess of Endor, he'll be the next king of Endor. I won't have to invade Endor. I appreciate what you've done. I'll dispatch a messenger uh, right away. You can go now. Alright. Let's go talk to uh, Prince Reed. Hey, Prince Reed. I heard the story from, your, uh, from my father. If you happen to go to Endor, please tell Mia that. I'm looking forward to our marriage. Okay. That takes care of all of that. Alright, pretty standard stuff here that can't even hurt me. So yeah, in this game, you can get your defense high enough to uh, not be able to hurt, uh, be hurt. But it goes the other way as well. If you, if you go ahead to some place you're not supposed to be, you might not be able to harm them. Hey. Item shop, huh? Uh, we don't need anything from you. Bye. Alright. Zoom. Zoom. Talk to the princess first. I can marry me. It's like a dream. Talon, is your name, uh, is your name is not? Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Hey, king. Talon, welcome back. I received the message from the king of Bon Malo, Malmo. Thanks for your help. As promised, I give you permission to own, to own a shop. Alright, so now we have permission to own a shop here. So we can actually do business here. So let's go see if we can buy that shop. Are you asking if the shop did blah blah blah? How about buying my shop for 35,000 gold pieces? Yes. If you don't have enough money, don't tease me. So yeah, we need 35,000 gold. Now, we can probably get that. I mean, with how lucky we've been with getting drops, we might be able to just grind for it. But honestly, the way you're supposed to do it is by going to get that silver statue. So remember, there's a guy that is willing to pay any price for it. So that's going to be our next target, is the statue. And we will continue our quest. Now for the most part, this shouldn't be too difficult for us. Actually, it might be a little difficult, because the cave is actually... The it has the toughest monsters. And I don't have very much space. Frame rate. Alright, so we're going to go over here. So if I want to, I can spend 600 gold and get some help, which might be a good idea. Just to speed this along a little. 600 gold uh, for 5 days? Do you hear that or I take the other guy? I actually kind of want to get these characters anyway, just to kind of show them off, so let's do that. Oh, you do. Let's go then. 
Lauren, join the party. Because if we don't take them now, we're never going to get them. So, I would like to go ahead and show them off. So, take a look at Lorette. Uh, low strength, some agility, reasonably high HP and max HP, the, uh, MP. Attack power and defense power is a bit meh. And he is a Trombador. He has a Venomous Dagger, so he can cause paralysis. And he knows heal, sleep, and fireball. Much like Healy, you, he does not have any out... Um, non-combat non spells, even though he knows heal. Um, I don't have enough to get the other guy, unfortunately. I need 400 gold for him. So we'll pick him up later. Alright, so our next target here... There's a few things we need to do, but... Um, Alright, Lawrence, take it easy. First things first, we're going to go and see about getting that statue. Well, actually, we're going to go in this cave. Uh, wide caves are different from regular caves in one aspect, but it doesn't really matter in this particular chapter. I began digging a cave to go to an eastern port town. I dreamt of owning a ship and retrieving all the treasures of the world. But I ran out of money, and I'm getting old too. If there were 60,000 uh, more gold pieces, the excavation could start again. Would you like to carry on my dream? Yes. Are you sure then? You must uh, own a shop first. Everything starts there. So even if I had 60,000 gold, I would have to still- I believe I still have to own a shop in order to actually invest in this. Alright. I have zero control over how much MP Laurent uses, but that's okay. He actually ca cast uh, sleep and it failed. All right, calm down with the spells. Sheesh, we're not even at the cave. We're not even at the cave yet. All right, leveled up. Good. Gear-wise, we have the best possible gear we can get, by the way. Just FYI. Also, I should have went straight t into the cave instead of this lopsided route, because I just took an extra damage. For no reason. That's okay. Uh, what is my max HP? Okay, I'm fine. And now we're in this place. Sheesh. Of course, these enemies are much tougher. Alright, something about this cave you should know. Do not loot a single chest here. You can do that. There's nothing stopping you from looting a chest here. But, if you do... Well, sorry, if you choose not to loot the chests that are here, you can come back here later and pick up all these items. It's kind of like if you bought a bunch of gear for your character before the chapter ends, you can carry it over. But in the case of this, Talon's not going to have the space for it. Now, if you do loot all the stuff here, there's definitely a plenty of good things here, and it'll give you, it will help you finish the, uh, the main quest here. But if you don't, it will definitely greatly benefit you in the future. Copper sword. I'm not gonna loot the copper sword. It's not worth it. Sorry for being a little wordy there. Just take my advice. Don't loot anything except for the statue here. You'll know which one is the statue. Anyway, this place has some mechanics involving sailing, but it's really just water, so it's not anything too fantastic. But you're trying to you're generally going to try to flood certain areas, and then, um... You're going to try to flood some areas so you can actually, like, sail to different areas. Jeez, these guys are tough. I probably should have gotten the guard, too. Oh, 
Oh well, we'll hopefully level up quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a medical herb. And unfortunately there's no place to store anything, so I'm kinda stuck with what I have. Sedote herb, okay. Well, not much use for that. Alright, Talon levels up, that's good. Now, the good news is also if we ever die, I do have the safe, so I don't lose anything. It'll be annoying, but I won't lose anything. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we can't reach because we are too low. You can tell that this area could probably be flooded, so it is what it is. Unfortunately, the AI is not very smart with Lawrence, but... Lawrence's stats are generally pretty good, at least. I mean, the only thing I'm lacking right now is the ability to... My, I'm just low level. What is this cave? I can't get a treasure chest. I mean, heck, I think uh, Elena's party was like, you know, level 9 to 11 by the time they were fighting you know, bats and things like that. And we're we, we came into this cave at like level 5, so it is what it is, unfortunately. Alright, so we can go to these stairs here. Jeez, Laurent. You're out of MP at this point. We both have the same HP, though. 33. What's annoying is all the things we've been fighting are separated groups, so the fireball spell is not that useful. And Laurent's out of MP, so... He can only... Well, he can only do uh, so much now. That's okay. If he dies, he dies. I would wish- I kinda wish he would stop trying to k take my kills, though. Conditions... I do have a medical herb for her, or for him. I keep thinking it's saying her, because... I mean, look at the sprite. But... Okay, here's the button here. Push the button. So yeah, doing that... Lowered the water here, so you can now get to these areas. And now we can fight Elef Rovers, whatever those are. work. And level 8. At this point, all the combats are just going to get easier, because, like I said, this is the toughest spot in the entire chapter. So take that for what you will. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Medical Herb on Laurent, because I can tank it's better anyway. I don't have to worry about the Sandmaster now. Except for the fact that it hits for 9. Oh, wooden hat. I can actually use that. Thank you for the wooden hat. 
And unfortunately the boat's not here, so we need to go back the other way. Up, oh, paralyzed. And dead. So as long as I don't spend five days down here, I should be fine. So yeah, we can reach these other chests if we want to, but like I said, just leave them there here. Talent doesn't need... well, the only reason you would pick them up is so you can sell them. Or add them to your shop. So you can make more money and stuff. Oh, okay, it changes this. So now you can go down this way and get on the boat. And then straight into combat. Oh, wow, one shot. A short while ago, water suddenly poured down from above. I almost drowned, but I survived that ordeal and got to the ch treasure chest. Sorry. I don't care. He's not going to loot the chest. You can come back here later and loot them if you want to. Or you can loot them now, whichever. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop an antidote herb. And if you're wondering where you're supposed to go, just follow the statues. I definitely am glad I got Laurent though, because this would have taken a lot longer if I didn't uh, take him along. It would have been even easier if I was able to get the other guy. I will start still hire the other guy just to show him off. Even if it's just a waste of 400 gold. Oh, that's not good. He just got poisoned, and I don't have a way to cure it. Cause I just threw away my antidote herb. There's a good chance we're going to die now, but before I die, I can go and grab that statue. Remember, if I die, I don't lose half my gold because I have the iron safe. up again. I think we've gained like five level ups since coming down here. I'm right. Yeah, Lauren's gonna die in about three more ticks. And at that point, I'll be the one taking the brunt of everything. So, uh, let's go ahead and search. So here it is. Silver statuette. Yes, we'll discard um, the leather hat. So yeah, we now, if I take a look at it. Hmm, a mysterious object. What an awesome object. A store is likely to be able to appraise the value of this. And if we take a look at the iron safe, 
Hmm, mysterious object. What an awesome object. No store is likely. Okay. One. Two. Oh, you might die in combat. Good luck. Nope, you lived. Congratulations, now you're gonna die in a single step. Half blade armor. Yes, I would like to discard um, the leather shield. Alright. Lauren passes away. Alright, so Talon's about to die. <clears throat> Not much I can do about it. It is what it is. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get back. I'm just gonna end up dying. But that's okay, I'll just grab what I can. So right now my gold is 1466. Wow, Talon. One. Oh wait, I don't get poison when I'm uh, in the boat. Unfortunately, getting out of here is kind of an another problem. Yay for my nearly maxed out armor. It's not even maxed out, I, I still haven't gotten like the best shield yet. So technically I can just keep fighting here and hope I get an antidote herb, or a medical herb. That's not gonna happen. This is... Come on, just kill me. Oh, almost there. One more damage, guys, you can do it. Alright, let's should finish this off. There we go. I'm fine. And we'll go ahead and revive, uh... 10 gold? Perfect. That's a bargain. As you can see, my gold didn't change. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and save. Okay. So, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Dragon Warrior 4. When we come back, we will continue. See you guys later.